everyone, my name is Tina Chuldian and I am the project production manager for Pentagon Records and we I work with Open Wounds 1915 movement as well as shop1915.com. The Open Wounds movement is a movement that is designed to build awareness for, about the Armenian genocide of 1915 by utilizing urban clothing, hip hop and social media. While we are not connected to any organization, we choose to do dedicate our time, efforts, and resources, as well as donate part of the proceeds to local cultural Armenian organizations. In my opinion, um, what what's happening here is that while we were at first allowed to were approved to sell merchandise here, they in the last month of of being open here, they've um, retracted some of those responses. We've never broken any of Americana's rules. Anything they've asked of us, we've abided by, and we've never displayed anything on any of the awnings or any of that sort. We just really appreciate the support of the community and those around us because we, we felt like the little guy, and luckily we have a very strong support system behind us, and we thank you. What do you think that Americana can do to really show that they're genuinely apologetic? Well, first of all, they can provide us with a comprehensive and accurate explanation, as I said. That's the, that's the first step. Um, April 24th is the 100th anniversary of the commemoration of the Armenian Genocide, and although I, I'm not here to ask them for anything, if they really want to show that they're sensitive to the Armenian community um, and our, you know, our feelings and our, the importance of this particular subject, just like they did with recently with the Asian community here, Maybe they can have some sort of Armenian festival um, to commemorate, you know, Armenian life and and what Armenians are. Uh, is it peaceful? This is going to be. This is going to be as peaceful as it gets, um, as as peaceful as possible. Hopefully, we won't have any confrontations. Uh, Americon is known for kind of harassing protesters, if you want to call them that. We had a protest in 2012 and they came up and they gave us all sorts of phony baloney stuff about the rules and regulations but the reality is is that under the laws of the state of California it, this is considered a public space and we have the right our First Amendment rights are protected in California. There's four states that actually has that. On private property where the public has access you actually have your First Amendment rights are protected. So hopefully they're going to leave us alone and let us have our peaceful protest. We're not here to scream and yell. We're going to be, you know, just occupying the area with our t-shirts and with some flyers that we have that we're going to be passing out um, to explain what the situation is. Do you feel like you're, if the crowd gets big enough to contain that kind of behavior? Well, hopefully. I mean, we've, we've already posted on our Facebook page that we expect a certain conduct to be followed and uh, hopefully people will respect that and those that don't, if they get rowdy, the police are in force here today. There's uh, more than usual, so I'm sure that they can actually you know, take care of the situation and uh, and deal with that. Hi, how's it going? My name is Arn. I'm a supporter of Rock Express. Thank you very much.
Ara, do you think I'll fit in this t-shirt? I hope so. I followed your advice. Let's go, let's walk. Let's go, let's walk. Here we go. Solicitation, it's not allowed. Where oh, it's not it a say? solicitation, it's a protest against the Americana, which is allowed by California state law. Trust me, I researched it. I know exactly what it is. We've been doing it for a while, not nobody a was saying you could fight. So Adam, what are you soliciting? I uh, I guess I'm trying to sell t-shirts today. <laughs> That's the father, right there. Oh, you're the father. Hey, this is, you said Aya? Yeah. Aya. How do you spell it? A-Y-A. A-Y-A. And last name? Termarturosian. Okay, right, spell it real clear for me. T-E-R dash M-A-R-T-I-R-O-S-Y-A-N. And how old is she? She's six. Six years old. She's so awesome. She's really good. Yeah. And do you guys live in Glendale? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Facebook <laughs> Բայց 
մեծ ձայն բարձրացվի գետը հի քարլու հոգի լինենք ինչ կլիներ այնպես որ սելի այնակից է կարևորը միասնական մասնակցելը եւ օգուտ տալն է մեր ազգին շնորհակալություն My name is Aaron Parrish um from Detroit Michigan but I currently live in Glendale right now I came down to meet Armin Armin and support his team out here I hear that uh, Americana is blocking the sale of these t-shirts for the Armenian genocide so I want to come down and show my support and um just do as much as I can to help get the word out We need justice so that's why I'm here and what do you think about Americana has done I, I couldn't believe it when I saw it. this being like the central mall area of Glendale and Glendale being the biggest Armenian population outside of Armenia like this is like little Armenia how can you stop the sale of something that's it's a big event coming up 100 years of silence and 100 years of denial so I, I was really blown away like I couldn't believe it because one the shirts aren't threatening or of any kind of way you know it's just this this kind of shocking And what should we, what should we expect from the Americana? Anything? Should we be demanding anything? We... I think we should demand um, just. I mean, we should demand respect. One justice. I mean, what is the problem with the shirts? That I, I just don't understand it. I heard they apologized on Facebook, um, but they they won't even let them put the shirts up. So that's one thing we need to demand that the shirts should be able to be displayed. and so like any other commodity over here it's not threatening another race or anything it's just this expressing that the armenians wounds are still open to me as an african american i can empathize i mean we've all been through a lot and we all just need to get along and live as one and that's why i'm here to support so that an african american is here behind the armenians too ներ <gülüyor> մեր հայ քաղաքապետերը գլենդելի քաղաքապետերը քաղաքապետարանից ներկայացուցիչներ մեր կոնգրեսմենները սենատորները ներկալին էին որտեսի հասկանային որ 1915 թվի ճիշտ է շատ վախնալի էր ինքնի համար բայց պետք է նույնիս գոստիկաները եւ գլենդելի այլ ազգի բնակիչները մեզ պետք է սատարեն իհարկե հույն ընկերներ ունեն որ հիմա այստեղ են երաժիշտներ նրանք էլ էին այստեղ հակել են այդ շապիկները հիմա բոլորը սա ցուցադրական ինկլուդինգ <laughs> Armin and um I'm one to praise his campaign that he's been holding now for many years the uh um uh, our wounds are still open which is the, in in regards to the Armenian genocide of 1915 I think what he's been doing has just been a a workhorse of sort to help raise awareness for for obviously the fight of injustice of what happened 100 years ago and as a greek and um uh, as a, a, I'm a sympathizer of what has happened since years before that the Ottoman Empire took took it upon themselves to pretty much eliminate all, my people the Greeks so it's only righteous of me to sympathize and support my Armenian artists and my Armenian community that has helped me as an artist grow for all these years so I'm here in support and what are your what are your thoughts on what happened with the uh, Americana and their banning this t-shirt you're wearing what does this t-shirt mean well i i i do find it ironic that they use the keyword genocide without even there's no statement of it being genocide so they did their research on it 
to, or they, you know, they heard some whispers in the wind of it. Uh, my thoughts of it, you know, it's it's a knot. You know, there's going to be different angles, different opinions of, you know, on what took place. And right now, it's it's just a big mash of poop, you know, and they don't know how to come out of it. But if anything, it's once again the community is united and and standing strong by their you know their their goals in mind and and now the Americana is 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 back on their heels and you know in it uh, in retrospect I'm sure they don't like what they did right now especially for the fact that this community is built on Glen, you know Armenians and they helped facilitate this whole uh, this whole empire here so it is what it is but you know we learn from our mistakes right that's what we're trying to do. Thank you. You are. Our youngest protester. Which is Lavis? 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 Huh? Oh, Lavis. 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 Oh, Lavis.